Congratulations to the class 2020. I know that we all wish we were celebrating you in person, but until we can, please let me express my profound appreciation for your many achievements and accomplishments. I want you to take a few seconds to savor this moment. We are in the midst of some of the most challenging times that the nation and world has ever faced, but you are here about to graduate. Your success is indicative of your resilience, your determination, and your commitment to your future and to the world before you. So please take a few seconds right now just to wallow in your greatness. Given the world that we currently find ourselves in, your commitment to your future is incredibly serious and significant. Regardless of your political, social, cultural, and or religious affiliations, I think that we can all agree that these are troubling times in which we live and the need for brilliant people like yourselves is critically important now more than ever. Even before the pandemic, our nation's divorce had become extremely divisive, contentious, a few times violent as many people retreated into more and more isolated communities, both physically and intellectually. We all are counting on you all to use this time to facilitate change. We need you to help us to listen to one another, to find common ground needed in order to address the issues critical for peace, good health, and a return to economic development in our own country and abroad. As you go forward from this day on, I hope that you will continue to make decisions based on data-driven information and to use your talents to shape a discourse that can help others understand the issues that are crucial to the nation's recovery. Whether that would be a question of governmental policy, medical care and scientific discovery, economic recovery, technological development, or any one of a million spheres of activity that awaits each one of you. I ask each and every one of you to think about the roles that you will play in helping people in your communities listen to one another, to consider multiple perspectives, to solutions that can bring people together to solve problems in a way that builds a brighter future. I urge you to be role models of thoughtful citizens open to different perspectives on the issues that challenge our society. Of critical importance is really because you are America's elite. You are our nation's hope, from among you will come researchers who will cure diseases, business leaders who will employ hundreds, if not thousands, political leaders who will, who will make, we hope, a lasting peace, Compromise, compromisers, composers, poets, artists, all who will move us, delight us, and fill us with the joy of life. Just like the magnificent work that happens in Black Roots and what that work does for other people. So today, I issue you this challenge. Be present. Be here now, wherever you are, hopefully at home, but be there and mindful of where you are and who is there with you and who is not, who's actually on the front line doing the hard work to keep us the rest of the day. If nothing else, this pandemic reminded us that we cannot take our lives or this world for granted. Be mindful of the future, because if you don't, you will be shaped by it rather than shaping it yourself. Live life fully and meaningfully, make a difference in your life and the life of others. You have demonstrated here in this place at this time that you are exceptionally talented. You have demonstrated leadership. Don't squander these riches, use them. Use them every day to make the world a better place. Before I conclude, I want, to take, I want you to take a moment and reflect on your journey and acknowledge how your outstanding achievements, the achievements that have led you to graduation, were possible only with the help of people who gave you roots and wings, your family and your friends. Please take a moment to recognize your family, your friends, your teachers, school administration, the staff at Glass Roots, and countless others whose support and care helped you get to this point. I congratulate you on your significant accomplishment and I remind you that much is expected of each of you. In the words of former President John F. Kennedy, to whom much is given, much is required. On behalf of your Glassroots family who were fortunate and honored to work with you, please know that you all make us so very proud. We know that there are many more achievements in store for each. Congratulations to the 2020 graduates. You have endured unprecedented circumstances and met the challenges with determination and grace. Congratulations again, graduates. I and we at Glassroots stand in awe of you.